guys, welcome to my tech tips. This is the second part in um, amazing um, optimization tweaks for Windows 7. Uh, the first one was for reducing lag, reducing ping in online games, so please check that video out as well. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. You're going to need to pause the video to, to work on these steps. Some of them are a bit complex and can be uh, time consuming. So uh, just pause it, save it to bookmarks, restart after every step um, if possible. You can do these steps without restarting until the end, uh, but I don't recommend it. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, start and type in msconfig msconfig hit enter and you're going to go to boot advanced options and select number of processes and then you're going to bring down the drop down menu and click the maximum number you have there um, basically this uses all cores in your processor when the machine boots up uh, click OK and then you want to go to startup and in here you want to deselect any program that you're not using straight away when you when your machine starts up so for me I'm not using spybot um, I'm not using Java so let's say these were selected say that's say Java is Skype you don't need that when you first start up so deselect that click apply and click OK um, restart but I'm going to exit without restarting obviously because uh, I'm making a video the next one go to start and control panel and click on system and security come down to power options and what you do by default this is uh, show hidden uh, additional plans is probably hidden um, I'm using power 4 gear high performance because I'm using an Asus gaming laptop you probably don't have this uh, option so click the, the uh, down menu and you want to select high performance just select that and then close the window okay the next step start right click my computer computer in Windows 7 go to properties and then go to advanced system settings and you want to select settings and in here you want to click adjust for performance so just like that but to keep the visual effects uh, on the window so it doesn't look like Windows 98 just select use visual styles on Windows buttons click apply and OK uh, then you want to select settings again and go to advanced now what we're going to do here is change the uh, virtual paging file basically um, this allocates RAM to programs you want to change now if you're using <coughs> 4 gigabytes or more RAM you want to select no page file no paging file but if you're using less um, what you want to do is select custom size and go to initial size and what you're going to do is put this number in here whatever it is it's going to, be, it's going to differ on every machine but this number so for instance it would be 9102 and then just click OK obviously I'm not going to do that because I've got more than 4 gig and click OK and OK OK close that window then what we're going to do is go to start and we're going to go to services dot msc click enter and what this does is bring up a list of services that are running on your machine um, a lot of them are running by default when you start a machine and what we're going to do is just disable a couple of them that you don't need um, and they, they give a massive boost to performance especially on low memory machines so just select anything here and uh, press W and that bring up the Windows list go down to Windows search and at the top you want to click stop mine's purple obviously because I've already done it uh, previously so click stop that's the Windows search facility that you don't need straight away come back down to search right click properties and you want to select startup type and you want to disable it click apply and OK then press T and you're looking for themes um, it, it's up to you 
if you do this you will lose some visual styles but this um, is much like the previous tweet we did but this goes further this disables aero so when you press um, the windows button and tab uh, what it will do in windows 7 is it will have an aero effect and it will do like a 3d um, window slideshow to change whatever you're looking at but really not many people use it um, so you want to go to properties and again you want to disable it um, I'm not going to do it because I don't need to but yeah you want to disable that and click apply and then close that window and then what we're going to do is go to start right click on computer and properties device manager and you're going to look for disk drives select your disk drive um, you've probably only got one I've got two because I'm using a solid state drive as well for my windows um, it's a lot faster so right click on that go to properties and then go to policies and what you want to do is select enable write caching on the, the uh, device if you've got an uninterrupted power supply which most people don't uh, so this won't apply to you but if you do select turn off windows write cache buffer flushing um, but I warn you if the power does go out on your machine uh, you will lose some data so it, it's totally up to you if you want to do that or not so click OK just close that and that um, and the next thing to do I mean there is some more tweaks in Windows but I don't want to make the video too long and too boring and give you a headache um, one of the most important things you can do on Windows to speed things up is actually update your drivers so your video card drivers for, for example is probably the most important driver uh, for gaming so whether you've got an NVIDIA or an ATI AMD um, just right click on your desktop like I just did so right click and you will have um, some kind of option here for NVIDIA control center or AMD Catalyst control center just bring that up to see if you've got an AMD or an NVIDIA so I've got an AMD which is ATI um, just go to Google type in amd.com and follow the steps on the website to download the latest driver for Windows 7 uh, professional 64-bit or 32-bit if you don't know how to find out if you've got 64-bit or 32-bit or professional or home or ultimate it's very simple just come down to start uh, right click on computer and properties and that brings up everything you need to know here so I've got Windows 7 home premium service pack 1 and down here it says 64-bit operating system so that will give you the information you need to download the correct driver um, with NVIDIA just go to Google just put in NVIDIA drivers or just go to NVIDIA.com and that's it guys basically um, there is some more tweaks to come about uh, Windows 7 for gaming um, but like I said I don't want to keep the video too long so thanks for watching and check out my other videos especially the one um, the part one to this so reduce your ping and your lag on online gaming it really really helps um, I wouldn't use these tweaks if they didn't help so there we go please like and sub guys cheers